In fact, I think of it what time is. Time is the persistence of existence. H.G. Wells had a great example in mm. this book, The Time Machine. You can't have an instantaneous cube existing. It has to endure for a certain period of time. Stubbornly persistent illusion. Yes, that's, that's right. That. So it's important to realize that prior to the existence of human beings, there was time. But what we have on a practical level is we measure that existence, how long it takes for something to endure. But that length is independent of any measurement that we make of it. So when you talk about, for instance, people say, gee, well, time seems to be slowing down or speeding up depending on whether, you know, mm -hmm. if I'm having a good time, time seems to go fast. If I'm bored, right. time seems to go. Those are physiological effects. Yes. Those are things that have to do with our physiology. Time itself, though, there's, so there's physical time and there's physiological time. Physiological time depends on biology. Physical time is independent of us. 